Surrounded by clanks. Dobry. Przesnie dosem. Come on, man, put that away. Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. No. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. So. Was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me? Or something else? I have a job to do, and you're a means to getting it done. Regardless of why the cops were doing what they were doing. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops. And whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look. All I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of Ark. My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if Ark was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with Ark. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what Ark is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit. Power. Something. Freedom. How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick or Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubosh. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This will help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. It doesn't matter if they're a grandmother or a schoolboy. If they have a nod, they're a threat. Am I right? 
I was saying that before.